I want to thank Speed for being a very for playing a very important role in my journey, sir. I've been using this app for like last two years, sir. So I want to thank the whole Speed team and especially, sir, all the technical team and everything like who are so much dedicated, sir. Like they send messages daily about the live classes and everything, sir. I really appreciate their work, sir. I bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of all the faculty members to Dr. Sara Chahal for scoring rank number one in DM Superficiality. of endocrinology in any ss session april 2024 congratulations to you thank you sir thank you great now can we know a brief history from where you started till date uh, yes sir so i belong to patiala district in punjab i have done mbbs from aims rishikesh batch of 2013 and i have done md internal medicine from pj chandigarh and i completed it in june 2022 sir wow it's a great career built already and why endocrinology Uh, so uh, endocrinology uh, so first reason is that for their less of emergencies and okay. the second reason is that so like when i started reading the subject sir i really started liking the subject because it has components of all a lot of things like there are there's component of pediatrics there are component of gynecology then endocrine tumors and all and some biochemistry also so these were the subjects in which i was very strong during my undergraduate days so so i thought this is the subject for me sir <laughs> so you decided this will suit your personality and this is for you yes yes sir yes sir exactly great so once you decided to do so and uh, you started i mean how you started and what are the methodologies what the way you prepared to reach rank number 1 uh yes sir so speed has been my companion from the very starting of my preparation so like i have been using it since last like one and a half year okay. so so it's long so journey i think my Yes, sir. So at that time, I started watching the speed endocrinology video subject twice, sir. And then I started reading the Williams textbook of endocrinology along with the videos because, like, I was reading it for the first time, so it was difficult to understand the textbook. So I would watch uh, endo videos from speed, uh, then read the text. So once I was done, and apart from that, I was also doing uh, the MCQs which are given in the speed app. So once I had completed that first reading of the Williams textbook. And after that, sir, I just did the MCQs practice only, mostly, sir. Like and revised my syllabus. Sir. After that, I didn't watch many videos. Ah, uh, now, sir, like recently, some videos were uploaded in the last two three months. So they were very useful. Like parts of videos are there, sir. So I watched them like ten fifteen days before exam. So they were quite useful for revision purpose. Yeah, he passed out of aims, and immediately yes. he wanted to a quick course. <laughs> yes, sir. Exactly, like the style of teaching is also very good, sir. So he was a second generation speed faculty actually. So he was a student in speed, and when he got into AIMS and endocrinology, and subsequently he finished all three years, and then now again a faculty, a student become a faculty in speed. Yes, sir. So great, doctor. Now, can you tell us how many questions did you attend in this exam? Uh, sir, I attempted all eighty questions. Can you tell something? Excellent. That does mean hundred percent. I mean eighty out of eighty is total knock. Um, that means you didn't leave any question. So we cannot leave in any question, sir. Like in such a competitive branch, there is no scope of leaving any question. We have to attempt all, even if we don't know, we have to guess the answer. Get done. Correct. Perfect. Now, can you tell things something about the paper? How many questions were from? I mean, core endocrinology. How many from general medicine? Something like that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. sir, sir from, from, from core, core endocrinology, approximately fifty-five. questions were there and from general medicine uh, approximately 25 questions were there this time the paper was difficult as compared to the previous one and uh, the questions from endocrinology were picked up directly from the williams line the williams text book endocrinology directly it was picked up from the line so anybody who has read that thoroughly and had revised it can easily uh, crack this question and as far as the medicine is concerned the questions were difficult as usual but mostly they were from the harrison sir And, and it's, it's very really difficult, difficult to read the Harrison textbook of uh, medicine, and, and even, even if somebody has it, it is very difficult to revise, sir. So, 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 so for medicine, medicine, I think uh, we, we just need to practice MCQs, MCQs and just, and just go, go through the important topics, topics of Harrison. Harrison that's it. But the but focus should be on the subject, sir. The core subject, like endocrinology, at least like twenty twenty five days before exam. Great. Now, what about your interview? How did you? Get prepared for interview, and what did they ask you? How did you approach the interview? I mean, even that is equally important for being a successful rank, right? So, Definitely, sir. Can you tell us something on that? 
so my preparation for interview was uh, basically like i was revising the important approach based topics from the textbook only and apart from that i watched some uh, interview videos that are uploaded in the speed as well like the previous interview uh, uh, videos are also there last session and last to last session so some important topics uh, they tell you about important topics that can be asked in the exam some extra points so i had also noted the important points from that sir but mainly my focus was on uh, revising simple things from the textbook sir nothing beyond that what did they ask you can we know i mean what they ask you in this interview so they uh, started with the the lab endocrinology part uh, from that they asked what is hook effect then why is it called hook effect then uh, if, if a patient if you want to test a few chromo- suspected few chromocytoma patient then what things you will tell the patient not to eat before testing for metanephrine basically interference with metanephrine testing and mm-hmm. uh, then they asked a uh, thyroid uh, question related to thyroid if the patient has tshoma then uh, if the patient has tshoma and the uh, patient is not u thyroid how will you make that patient u thyroid before surgery and uh, why patients with thyroid toxicosis develop gynecomastia and uh, if you start a patient on sglt2 inhibitors what advice you will give uh, then before starting a patient with iv bisphosphonates what will advi- what advice you will give then they asked about uh, what are pseudo fractures then uh, in what all conditions they can be seen mostly sir, these these kind of questions are there sir very elaborate because next interview somebody is going na this this interview will become very important for them because they get to know from this guidelines what questions could be asked uh, yes so mostly sir they ask questions uh, simple questions only sir not as very difficult questions approach based mainly doctor if you want to advise what will you advise for a uh, aspirants of dm endocrinology is be juniors or friends or colleagues who want to do it uh, what you will advise them yes sir uh, i would like to advise them that uh, endocrinology is a very uh, competitive branch so please first of all don't lose hope even if you have to uh, take one two or three attempts and then secondly uh, the questions will be asked from williams textbook only and from the harrison endocrinology part so please read that book very thoroughly and mark the important points and revise it multiple times of course you can take help of the videos for revision and you can make notes from that also but reading williams is important and stay in touch with medicine also you cannot completely forget it this 20 25 questions can decide your rank and practice as many multiple choice questions as possible take gts speed is a good source where you can get many gts question bank everything is available so you have to practice many many multiple choice questions as many as possible to develop that skill of solving the mcqs great doctor now it's time to thank and whom all you want to thank you can use this platform to do so how built your career till date yes sir sir uh, i want to thank my parents who have been supporting me always and uh, i want to thank all my teachers uh, from my school starting from my school then my uh, institute aims education from where i did under graduation my teachers at pgi all my friends and of course i want to thank speed for being a very for playing a very important role in my journey sir i've been using this app for like last two years sir so i want to thank the whole speed team and especially sir all the technical team and everything like who are so much dedicated sir like they send messages daily about the live classes and everything sir i really appreciate their work sir thank you so much sir thank you doctor they'll all feel happy by listening to this video because yes. uh, because uh, they will feel very very satisfied about faculties will feel about the results and the team will definitely feel about their services that you have acknowledged thank you very much doctor for acknowledging all of them thank you thank you sir thank great you. so once again we wish you all the very best and all the success for a great career in endocrinology for you and as an endocrinologist you. and you will definitely be happy about it and and working in in the specialty that you wanted and for that advance congratulations and wishes to you